Are you getting tired of tracking your calories and your macros every day? Or do you find it overwhelming to do those two things? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to track your food intake using portion sizes by only using your hands. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Aaron from Amphi Coaching. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use your hands to track the portion sizes of your food intake. So you can stay on top of your diet without the hassle of having to track every single thing that you're eating. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Aaron. I'm an online fat loss coach. I help people lose weight and get strong. And if you wanna keep seeing videos like this and keep getting update when another video goes live, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna catch up on my last video, I went over the different types of whey protein. I'm gonna link it up here. I think it's on that side, so you can go back and check it out. And as always, I am gonna put the timestamps in the description, so if you do wanna skip ahead two different sections, feel free to click the time you wanna to go to. So with that out of the way, let's get into today's video. So before I go into how to track the portion sizes for proteins, fats, and carbs, there are a few considerations we do need to make so that way everything makes more sense and you kind of know the implications or the positives and negatives of doing this. The first one, it may be obvious, but this method is not 100% accurate, but it does give you a way because your hands hopefully aren't changing in size to have a tool that you can consistently measure out your portions. But even taking into account that it is a little less accurate than weighing your food and using measuring things for everything, it is a very good way to introduce yourself to a more structured eating pattern and tracking more of your food. And it also just gives you a little more ease of mind because you don't have to weigh everything out. You can do this anywhere at a restaurant and it just makes quality of life a little bit better sometimes. The next thing that will ultimately make everything easier is it's very good to know your calories required to lose weight or to maintain your weight beforehand and also to calculate your macros beforehand. That's going to make this method tremendously easier so that way you can kind of stick to your macros without actually having to track your macros the whole time. If you do want to learn how to do those two things, calculating your calories and calculating your macros, I'm going to link the videos up there and down in the description that I did quite some time ago, and you can learn how to do just that. And the last one, there are some foods that are a mixture of different macros. For example, eggs are a good fat source and protein source. A high fat steak is also a good protein source and fat source. Some potatoes are good fat sources and carb sources. So at these, sometimes you may need to count your portion as more of one than the other. For example, let's say if you have some low fat Greek yogurt, that may be just a protein serving. Or if you wanted, you could count, depending on the number of grams in the actual food item, which we'll get into later in the video, you could count it as one portion of protein and half a portion of carbs, or you could do half a portion of protein, half a portion of fat, something like that. So you can mix it up. If you do this, that's perfectly fine, but as long as you do it consistently with those foods, that's okay because the method is consistent. So if you do change things, then you'll know what's happening. So the first one we're going over is proteins. How do you track your protein serving with your hands? For all of these, I am gonna have an image to the side that will help make this a little more clear along with all of the details. So with protein, what you're going to use is the palm of your hand. Now, depending on the size of your hand, because everybody's hands are different, the serving of protein may be a little different. So if your hands are on the smaller side, it could be somewhere around 20 grams of protein. If your hands are on the larger side, they could be around 30 grams of protein. So you don't have to know exactly what size of your hands are. If you want to kind of meet everything in the middle, 
you could say one serving of protein for your hand size is about 25 grams of protein. Using this will allow you to easily eyeball a serving of protein in a meal. So if you're eating some chicken or some steak, you can easily just put your hand over and estimate how much you're getting. Or if you go out to dinner, this will make it very easy unless they specify on the menu that you're getting like six ounces of chicken. You could just use your hands to kind of figure out how many servings approximately you're getting of protein. The next one is carbohydrates. So this one is fairly similar to protein. So this one we're using a cupped hand. So basically like a scooped hand like this, whatever is going to fit in the middle. That's approximately one half cup roughly. So you could just measure out a half a cup, but let's say if you're pouring out some chips or something like that, pour them in your hand, put it in a bowl. There you go. That's one serving. In terms of the quantity or the grams of carbs in that serving, just like protein, it's going to range a little bit depending on how much you can actually fit on your hand. And on average, that's going to be anywhere from 20 grams of carbs to 30 grams of carbs. Our next one is fats. Now, this one does get a little more difficult with oils, but with nuts, you can use your thumb. And it's not like this whole length here, it's mainly this kind of like above the bone here, that part there. That would be about one serving of fat. It would also be approximately one tablespoon. In terms of how many grams of fat is that, everyone's thumbs are different. So it can be anywhere from seven grams of fat to 12 grams of fat. So with any oils, I would recommend just measuring out a tablespoon, probably a little better. But if you're having like some almonds or different kind of nuts or seeds, you could always just kind of put them on the counter and put your thumb over and kind of estimate one serving. So depending on the size of your hands, let's kind of meet in the middle, let's say nine grams, you could kind of portion out whatever you may need. And we are gonna go over one more because everyone does need to get their veggie servings in. So if you're trying to eat some more vegetables and you don't really know how to portion it out, you can use one fist. So if you put some veggies onto the plate, if your fist can cover it looking down, then that's approximately one serving. So doing this, you can kind of ballpark how many veggies you're eating in a day. So if you're trying to up your veggie intake, this one will be really beneficial for you. So let's run through an example so that way everything I went over makes a little sense for you when you're tracking your macros using your hands. So let's assume you've already figured out your calories and you've arrived at your macros. So our example macros today are going to be 140 carbohydrates, 140 protein, and 50 grams of fats. So in terms of portion sizes, let's assume your hands are on the smaller side. So we're going to use the lower numbers, which for protein and carbs and fats, that was 20 grams, 20 grams, and seven grams. So with our macros, 140 grams of protein would be approximately seven servings of protein. 140 grams of carbs would also be seven servings of carbs and 50 grams of fats would be in between seven and eight servings of fat. So now you have your total servings for the day. Now, in terms of how many servings you need a meal, that ultimately depends on how many meals a day are you going to eat? So you're eating three meals, four meals, five meals. If you know that number, then we can figure that out. So let's assume you're eating three meals in a day, which is typically the average for most people. Let's also assume with those three meals, you're also getting one snack a day because who doesn't like to snack throughout the day? So we can have three meals a day with two servings of proteins, fats, carbs, and we can have one snack with a serving of protein, carbs, and one or two servings of fats. So that's how you would break down tracking your macros by just using portion sizes in your hands. So now when you're actually putting together a meal, you do have to use your best judgment when doing this and make sure that's consistent every time. You can just use your hands to make sure you're getting the appropriate serving 
with that meal and then just keeping track of that number of servings during the day. So instead of having to remember you need 35 grams of carbs and 45 grams of protein, those are just random numbers in each meal or different meals of the day and trying to math it all together, you can be like, okay, did I get my two servings of protein and two servings of carbs? Yes, I did. So overall, it just makes it a little less overwhelming. And if you are trying to increase your vegetable intake, I would recommend one or two servings of veggies in each meal and just use your fists. Usually they're not that high in calories, so just add those in. So as you can see, this method isn't 100% accurate by any means, but for a lot of people who are just starting with losing weight or just starting to have a structured diet or learning how to track their food, it can be very useful and it can be something useful to learn because you can apply it in a lot of different environments such as at home or if you're going to a friend's or at a restaurant. And I find a lot of times tracking calories and macros can be very overwhelming for those who are new to the whole tracking food thing. And it can be overwhelming. Like if you're tracking every single thing you're putting in your breakfast and in your lunch, in your dinner, in your snacks. And if you go out to eat, you have to figure out how to work all of that in. It can be very stressful and it just makes things a lot more complicated. So if you are having a hard time with staying on top of your calories or getting the proper macros all of the time, I would recommend getting hand portions a try or using some other way to measure your portion sizes. So that way you can have a consistent way to measure and stay on top of how much food you're eating without the stress of tracking every single detail. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you wanna see more things like this and more things nutrition related, just leave a comment down below on what you would want me to cover. I appreciate all of you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.